Do you like poop? Okay, I think all the Mojang employees have stopped watching. Do you like Roblox? Now they're definitely all gone. Which means today I can show you Minecraft hacks and tricks they don't want you to know. Watch until the end to become Big, Big Brain. Brain! Forever mobs. Whether you what? want a golem that's impossible to unalive or an elder guardian that will never go away, this trick makes it so mobs are invincible to everything except magic. Excuse Make a hole in the ground like, just big enough for the them. mob to fit, and on the outside corners place dispensers with a lever uh -huh. leading into them, the splash potions of harming in one and healing in the other. Add a wall to the other side, then hit the mob until it's a punch away from unaliving and pull the lever. If you what? get the timing right, the mob will look like goal? this, and when you reload the game, the mob is normal but can't be unalived. And this no. works for any Wait. mob that can be healed and take like damage anything from at potions. All? So have fun and My dog's like and never follow for more again. tips and tricks. So let's go ahead and place down our four iron blocks. So we're going to dig out a two by two space that is two blocks deep and go ahead and chuck our pumpkin right on top there. Boom. All right, we've got our iron golem nicely trapped in our hole here. All right, now we need to place down two dispensers on either side of this hole. And in one of them, they put down a bunch of splash potions of healing. And then in our other one, we're going to have a bunch of splash potions of harming. I think this must work somehow by like killing the iron golem with a splash potion of harming while at the same time saving its life and it glitches out the game. So now we're going to crouch and while crouching place a bit of redstone dust on each of those dispensers, connect them and then up to a lever. Now I'm not exactly sure why we need to have a wall back here but I'm not going to question the process. Now we need to hit our iron golem so he's exactly on one last heart. Now the iron golem has 50 hearts. I'm pretty certain. Google me if I am wrong. So which means with the netherite sword, which does eight attack damage. Okay, if my math is correct, I think I need to hit him 11 times, then hit the lever. I have no idea if this is gonna work. All right, guys, three, two, one, let's go. All right, one. <laughs> 10, 11. All right, he isn't dead yet, but soon he might be, or soon he might be an immortal god. All right, here we go, bam. Did that work? Oh my flip, bro. What is going on with the iron god? Look, he's literally dropped iron and a flower as if he's died. Okay, he looks like he is in a lot of pain. Let's jump out of this world, guys, like the video said, and reload in. The moment of truth, guys. Does this work? Does it not? Do we have an immortal iron golem pet? Fingers crossed. Okay. We can't see him yet. Looking down very slowly. Oh my gosh, he's still alive! He's actually still alive! No way! Okay, so we survived the infinite death thing there. But the question is, is he actually invincible? All right, let's just hit him a million times here. All right, we're just gonna spam hit. I don't think he's dying. Guys, I think he's invincible. No way, what? Bro, this is actually overpowered. No wonder Mojang is keeping this a secret. They don't want you to know you can do this. This is insane. I wonder if you can even do it to yourself, guys. That's up to you guys to test. For years, the building community has wanted some way to stop plants from growing past a certain <laughs> point. And Fast. fortunately, we can now pull it off in the base game by using shears like so. Seriously? If you blueberries, kelp, and nether vines to stay that way, this will do the trick. But the regular vines still don't do it. I have literally wanted this feature since I started playing Minecraft in 2010. How did I not know about this? But we are still going to test it on these glowberry vines. So we're not going to touch any of them except for this lucky vine here. Let's switch into survival mode and click on our vine. Is that all we have to do? Okay, there was a sound effect and you can see my shears durability has gone down, but it doesn't seem like anything has changed with that glowberry vine. So I have no idea if that did anything. And since we're testing that, we may as well test. Apparently this also works with kelp, which is a real shock to me. So uh, why don't we dig down here, guys, into the ground and then we'll fill that up with water, plant a little bit of kelp. All right, let's go ahead and build a little bit of glass there. All right, so then we're gonna switch back into survival and shear our kelp. Okay, again, it made a sound effect, but I don't know if it did anything. It looks exactly the same. Apparently, it also works with our weeping vines, but not our normal vines, which really sucks because that is the main block I wish it would work for. So let's put down our normal vines. We'll test it anyway. Maybe, maybe in this new update, it's changed. And we've got our weeping vines here. So we're going to switch into survival mode. Let's shear these. Okay, that's not making any sound effect when I click my shears, but that one does. And you can see it even does the shearing animation. So maybe it doesn't work with vines. I don't know. But to test this, we're going to go ahead and turn up the speed that everything grows at by opening up chat and doing slash game rule or random take speed and put that at a thousand. And let's have a look. All right. So everything is growing here, guys. You can see all the weeping vines are going crazy right now. Not the weeping vines, the glowberry vines. But this one that we sheared doesn't seem to be moving whatsoever. I don't think it's grown whatsoever. And neither is the kelp and neither has the weaving vines. The actual vines have gone absolutely wild now, guys. But you can see here, this is actually fact. This is a real secret. Uh, what kind of wacky contraption is that? We got a dispenser with a water bucket and a redstone clock connected to it. 
This isn't exactly a Minecraft secret. I don't think Mojang are hiding this from anyone. Okay, wait, we've got two tripwire hooks and some string? And it breaks the string. That's nothing new. Wait, hold up. Didn't he place three string? Why does he have four? Wait a minute. Did he just duplicate the string? He's got a string duplicator. Yo, that is insane. String can be used for so many things. Bows, dispensers, and you can even use it to craft wool. Holy flip, it's a string and wool duplicator in one. All I need to do is place down a dispenser and then break out, what was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks in front of it? Maybe, and then this was three blocks wide. I don't know whether this has anything to do with how it works, guys, but eight blocks is exactly how far water will flow. Then they broke out one block on either side here, and the block back here had a glass pane? I don't know whether that has anything to do with it either. It's all very strange to me, guys. All right, then we need to place tripwire hooks on either side there. Fill our dispenser up with a water bucket, which I seem to have forgotten. <laughs> Let's go ahead, chuck that water bucket in, and then what? We needed, I think it was two repeaters going into our dispenser there. Two coming out. All of those were on full ticks like so. Then if we go ahead and crouch, we need a redstone torch on the side of that dispenser. Redstone dust coming around and that should do the trick. Maybe? Okay, that's flowing down the water and it seems to be in a repeating cycle there. Does that... Did it just stop? It bro, I think... Oh, no, no, it didn't break for a minute there. I really thought I screwed up. <laughs> okay, so it's working now and what? In the meantime, we just connect it with the string. Let's see what that does. That's four. That's literally four. Get rid of those three strings. How many were dropped? Two? And two more. Four! We turn three into four and we place it down again and it should duplicate. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait. We've got three, four, five. Every time it does, somehow we gain an extra piece of string. Where is that string coming from? I don't know. But also, if you go ahead and put your string together, you can craft wool. So it's basically a wool duplicator as well. Nobody likes being on the receiving end of knockback. Yeah, tell well, me about it. While it's to be tossed around, <laughs> this might make it necessary. Excuse Seeing me, bedrock, what? it's possible to repeatedly punch against your buddy's shield. So if we Bro. do that, we can use the knockback that we receive as something of a boost to the new heights. That is and actually then huge, right? we can alternate our positions with them to net some serious verticality. That is and so smart. How did I not think of this? your pal escape out of any future rock in a hard place. And the best part about it is that this is basically uh -huh. just an unintentional feature. So it's not a glitch that's gonna get patched. But is but it whether real? Mojang takes it out or not, one thing is for certain. Surely it's Mojang a trick has that's sure to give you and now. your friends quite the boost. That is and with so that, cool. folks, have a good one. What do you want, Jordan? I was napping. I was having a great dream. Okay, I need you to punch me. Am I still dreaming? <laughs> okay, look, just just do it, all right? I need oh, to test something. How the day has come. I can punch Jordan in the face. All right, just do it. Quiet. Right. What the heck? <laughs> I just got caught. No, wait. I have some serious punching packing power. Oh my. No, it wasn't you. It's this feature. If you go ahead and punch the shield, the knockback can give you like serious jump boost. Look at that. Wait. Bro. How cool is this? Wait, wait. Let me give you. Oh, oh, ow. Oh, that, that is my oh, face. Oh, All right. Oh, wait. Oh, hold sorry. up the shield. I need to try this. Okay, okay, so wait. Okay, so hold it up. So basically, yeah. you do that, and I just have to. Wait. How do you. Oh, flip. Yo, that is so cool. All yeah, right. Ready? ready? Just punch up and go. Yo. Okay. That is actually and so cool. Bro. Whoa. Feature works. That's all that matters. It just requires some practice. Okay, what new secret do we have now? Grabbing a bow. Ooh, some sort of bow trick, maybe? Okay. Grindstone? What is he doing? Okay, he shot the arrow through the hole in the grindstone. I don't know if that counts as a secret. It kind of just seems like an Easter egg. <laughs> and now through the anvil. What is special about this? I, I do not understand, guys. Okay, now we have a skeleton horse. I mean, that's a secret mob, but we've done that on the channel before. He's, wait, what is he doing? Hold up. Did he just shoot an arrow through the skeleton horse? Wait, did it poop out three out? Wait, 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 wait. What happened? It's already very cool, but apparently it's even cooler because you can shoot arrows through its rib cage and it poops out. It like duplicates it, but basically it goes through the rib cage and one arrow turns into three. Did that thing just poop out a baby? Okay, I don't know what just happened there, guys, but this thing has so many secrets yet to be uncovered. I would never even think of shooting an arrow through this, but I suppose it makes sense. The gap is there and it worked with the anvil and with the grindstone. So why don't we give this a go here, guys? We've got ourselves our skeleton horse. Let's load up arrow and give this a go. Three, two, one, bang! Okay, that literally just damaged him. All right, let's come around the butt here and bang! Okay, we just ki we killed our skeleton horse. I'm sorry, man. All right, it was for science. Oh, please don't tell me this is clickbait. Did we actually just get clickbaited? No, please, no. Mr. Skeleton Horse, do you want to know who is responsible for all my sadness and pain?
These guys, these command blocks right here. I did some Googling and it turns out, well, that is not a real feature of the skeleton horse. We got collect baited hard. He must have hidden all these command blocks underneath the ground. And I mean, the feature itself is really cool. I wish Mojang would add it. You shoot it through a skeleton horse and boom, out it poops three more arrows. But sadly, it just isn't real. It's a combination of all these very complex commands that basically test for when the skeleton horse is taking damage. And when it does, it poops out arrows. See, look, it doesn't even have to be an arrow. I punch it and it's just, it literally, it's an infinite arrow poop. <laughs> Honestly, this is pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie, guys. But what's not funny is we got clickbaited. If you want to put an end to the clickbait, then subscribe to this channel because that's what we're all about. Using commands, it's possible to make amazing things. Someone even remade an entire Pokemon what? game. However, it's equally easy to break the game. For example, playing the ghast animation on a different uh -huh. mod makes it turn giant. <laughs> but have a tiny little head. You can even do it to yourself. <laughs> you, my poor, poor, innocent friends shall be my test subjects to turn into ghast size mutants. <laughs> but I'm pretty certain you can change the animations of mob in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So I've switched over here, guys, and it uses a command called play animation. So let's go ahead, open up chat, and we're going to type in slash play animation like so. And then we're going to do at e all entities. And now we need to look for something called a gas. So I'm thinking if we just type in gas, see what comes up. Okay, gas. Nope, that's not working. Maybe we need to start with animation dot gas. That would make sense to me. I'm trying to use all my command knowledge here, guys. And then dot scale. I think that's what it had to do with. So then we'll go R3. See what that does. Oh, flip. Bro. <laughs> Yo, what just that? What is going on? They're like shrinking as well. Hold up. What if we just take that last bit off? Okay, that made it last for a second. So I think that's how long it lasts. Well, let's go R10. <laughs> Bro, what is this? Look at this tiny little head. That is hilarious. Look, what is going on with this shape right now, guys? What is this cow? Okay, wait. Let's make this even longer. R100. <laughs> Guys, I can't even see this this mushroom's head. I literally cannot see it. What's going on with this chicken? The, ch the chicken is headless. The chicken's head is too small. I literally can't see right now. Wait, what do we look like? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Look at my little teensy little legs at the side of my body. All right, so you put in these last these last couple is blocks this a building here, tutorial? And then what is what this? you want to do is actually leave the game. Uh -huh. Then you actually want to go to uh, like 1.16.5. Why would you go back in time? And all that monster you had in the middle will turn oh into flip. this weird Yo, lighting glitch. That looks and even so in 1.17, it'll still be there. If oh, you place a block it. up top, it'll actually ruin it. So, so you actually want to what? avoid that. Thanks for watching. So let's go ahead and give it a go. We're going to turn this entire area into moss blocks, guys. All the way down. Andrew slash slash set moss underscore block. Boom. We got our nice little area. Now all we need to do is close the game and open it in an older version. All right. You look at the bottom left. I'm in 1.16.4. The same version he used, which would make sense because this version didn't have moss blocks. And here is our world. Let's go ahead and load into it and see whether or not it actually works. All right, here we go. Oh my flip. Yo, that is so cursed and I love it. Bro, can we go into it? Oh, that is so terrifying. Look, it even messes with our skin. <laughs> that is actually so awesome. And now we can load it back in 1.18. And we're set. And if you don't want to become as black and soulless as this hole behind me, make sure to subscribe and watch the next video where we've got plenty of more hacks. I'll see you there. Until then, anyway, stream out. Bye.